So all this would seem to confirm that democracy in the, is in decline. But the problem is that is it isn't. There is simply the data does not support that. Even Freedom House's own numbers show minimal decline at most. So in 2000, there were 86 democracies in the world. In 2005, there were 89 democracies. Today there are, as of the latest Freedom House that just came out, there are, drum roll, 89 democracies, exactly the same as in 2005. It's true that the, the Freedom House score between one and seven has declined about one or two percentage points, but this is not a recession, it's a rounding error. And a similar picture emerges from other major democratic ratings, Economic Intelligence Unit, Polity, Bertelsmann Index, the VDEM, all basically show the same picture. It's true that the number of democracies in the world has not increased, but it has also not declined. We've seen real democratic decline in places like Venezuela and Thailand, but at the same time, that's also been matched by real improvements in places like Tunisia, Moldova, and most re recently, it looks like Sri Lanka. Even Ukraine, which is beset by num numerous crises, is much more democratic than it was a year ago. And, and what's most remarkable is that democracy has survived in many places where few theories predict it would, such as Benin and the Dominican Republic. So if there's so real, little real evidence of decline, why is the perception of decline so prevalent? And that's something that Steve is going to touch on.